Kenyans is that they ignore very important issues. You cannot tell me, you cannot tell me that I will not do business in the name of quarantine. My wife traveled last week on Friday. Sasa, umzi musi gaje wakati wa kurekod. Mi ni mtu baya na understand issues abazo zina affect Kenyans. No, but Mr. Mr. Kabi Wawa, that's one thing. I don't like cowards. Then we are no we are. I don't entertain cowards. I'm not a coward. Yeah, because I don't know to a I have no time. If you want to talk about the saw, if you want to talk to the saw, let me do a mini with a photo of Yagu, Mpaka Daka Musho. And I said, you can't take what I do at all. So I am happy. Who is taking care of the kids? This is an example of a broken family. Why are you breaking families instead of doing quarantine in the right way? Which is an institution of the government. A family is an institution of the government. Because the family could have said, 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 Could is a potential voter tomorrow. Yeah, is a potential voter. But she has missed the chance of being brought up by the mother. The quarantine is so irregular. It is not correct. In this market of Olkalao, there are women cartels. These women cartels called my wife last year 105,000. I have evidence. The case in the court of law, I don't want, I don't want to talk more about it because in the court, they called her 105,000. The case, I, I, I pursue the case, is still in the court right now as we speak. Last week, my wife decided to travel to Migori to pick some edibles in the name of foodstuffs. And when she went to Migori, you are aware Migori is not a, a county listed among the, the, the spots. It's not a spot county. In fact, Migori has not recorded uh, even a single case of COVID-19. So I, was, I, I told her it's okay, you can travel because uh, after law, it, the, the place is very safe. You can travel. You can go take the foodstuffs, then you can come back. That was last week. Uh, in fact, the day before yesterday, I was, I was, I, I, I passed through Alcala Market and uh, one lady in the name of Wadan, and I, I'm, I, I'm not uh, taking chances. I'm talking of the truth. She's called Wadan. Told me, we are aware that your wife will be quarantined on your, once she comes back. I asked her, how do you know this? You are not a police officer. I've known you as a business lady. How comes you are telling me about my family? And how my wife will be quarantined? So then, it came to be. Yesterday she arrived here at around noon and she was taken, she was called by the police here in Olkalao. And uh, after he, she, she was called by the police, she was locked in, right? I, I accompanied her to the police station. After accompanying her to the police station, they told me that they are waiting for some people to come and test her. Right? I was not told. In fact, they were not very clear about who was to come. In fact, they told me the one who reported. So they kept waiting. 
they kept, you can imagine this era of paying taxes, in this era of paying taxes, someone keeps you waiting for three hours. How are we going to get taxes? How are we going to get taxes? Someone keeps you waiting for three hours, yet we are supposed to generate tax for this country. Are we raising our GDP or are we are making it go down? Okay, that's a very good question. They told me that she has been taken to the quarantine because she traveled to Migori. Many people, even if you go to Nakuru right now, there are still vehicles failing passengers to Migori, isn't it? Is that not true? So they are failing passengers to Migori, to and from. She was one of the passengers. So once she got to Migori, she got a private lorry, which failed foodstuffs, not to Alcalao. After failing foodstuffs, that's when now she was ransacked by the police. I think I've answered your question. Maybe, uh, have you talked to any government official on this? Uh, I, you know, I've been to every office right like now. I'm also in an office right here. And we are pursuing the matter. Uh, uh, to kill time, I've decided to keep myself busy by taking uh, tests. I've, I've taken tests, various tests inside here as we wait for the direction. So what the, 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 the one who is in charge, let me tell you something. The person who is in charge here of this hospital and in charge of the whole COVID-19 saga, the, the whole COVID-19 thing, eh, has admitted, has admitted that a mistake was made when picking her. Okay, that's a very good question also. Uh, right now she is detained here at Nyadero High School, uh, a few miles from here. And uh, I, from what she's telling me, is that they, they, are, they are sleeping in a classroom. There's no food. You have to take food to her. Like now, I've not taken lunch because I've been busy here pursuing matters. I've not taken lunch. I've not taken lunch to her. So she's still inside there. I don't know whether she, she'll take lunch after law. You have seen my daughter here. She has not taken breakfast. I've been, we have been pursuing matters since morning. Is this what we are calling quarantine, actually? What some people now? some people are exaggerating the whole thing. What is, what is my appeal? My appeal is as follows, very straight, uh, straightforward. Let the government take this thing in the way it is supposed to be taken. Some people are taking advantage. Some people are taking advantage of things. And now you can be taken in for quarantine because you have a cape and a nice one. Be careful.